what's up everyone and today i'm gonna teach you how to draw an image on your desktop or on any canvas like this is holding text i can draw an image on here and it won't appear on desktop i can draw an image on notepad or on any canvas so you will need handle of that canvas for it so to start with i have included a stream and i've included windows.h I'm using namespace std and in our main method I don't have anything so what you have to do is go to tools and compiler options now you can see a lot of things are in here by default you will have this one and I have added this menu so you will need only this one this is the linker that will help you so by default it will be like this you just need to add dash l g d i 32 and uh, that's it that's what you want to add so to create a bitmap variable so type bitmap and name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it bm and then you need another one so press comma and name it anything you want i'm gonna name it bm m a s k so currently i'm not using this so i will just put a semicolon over there and then next thing you want to do is create a one more variable which is h bitmap and now here you want to load your image so i'm gonna name this b i and uh, set it equal to parenthesis h bitmap and then outside of parenthesis type load i m a g e and then you want to give a pair of parenthesis and now give first parameter as zero second parameter as the name of your file so this will be your file name and then type i m a g e underscore bitmap as you can see it's over here if you control click it and then press 0 0 and then type l r underscore l o a d from file now this will load image from file so here these two parameters will scale the image zero means the original size and as you increase the value the size to increases so i will show you that after we make our images so i have opened paint.net over here and this is our image that we are going to use but as you can see it's png and we can only put bitmap images on to screen or whatever canvas you want to use so we are going to convert it to bitmap so press ctrl shift s and it will pop up this menu which is save as menu and then change the type to bitmap bmp and uh, hit save and press ok and now this has saved to bitmap and i also have that file opened so this is the image we are going to use it so properties and copy the path and just put it over here and make sure to give double slash and then the name this will read the image now in next line we have to get the hdc which is device context and name it uh, anything you want i'm gonna name it whdc which is right hdc so this hdc is the canvas where you are gonna draw the image on so i'm setting it equal to get dc and null and uh, in place of null you can use find window if you want to draw on some other application i will show you that later so now we are gonna create one more hdc which i'm gonna name as hdc mem and set it equal to create compatible dc this will create a device context which we will use to store our image in give the name of destination hdc which is whdc and uh, in next line we are gonna select the image or copy the image to the hdc mem so type select object and then give it our hdc 
see mem variable comma bi which is our image now you have to get the object so type get object and then give a pair of parentheses and type h g d i o b g and give it our bi variable and then type size of our bitmap variable which is bm and then and bm so after that you are ready to draw the image so you can draw the image anywhere you want you can see my mouse this will be the zero and zero coordinate and this will be the size of your screen type b at t b l t and this is a function that will draw the image so give it the destination hdc which is w hdc in our case and then give it the position where to draw so i'm gonna give it 10 comma 10 and then the size of the image you have to type in bm dot bm height and before that you have to type bm dot bm width so first will be the width and then it will be the height after that give it the source so in our case that is hdc mem and then then this is the cropping you have to put 0 0 for original scale and then we have to type src and over here you can use different things so i'm gonna just copy the source and paste it in the destination you have to do copy and as you can see if i control click it you can see there are many things you can just use this many of things but they will result in different effects and all stuff like that after that you have to free up the memory which you have been using so we'll do delete dc and we will delete our hdc mem the source and then we will delete the object which is bi in our case so this is the edge bitmap object and now if you compile and run you can see the image appear and when you will run it second time it will just blink cause the screen refreshes so i'm gonna compile and run and over here i just messed up cause i spelled it wrong dc yeah run it and you can see that it's flashing very quick and sometimes it's not appearing cause screen recorder refreshes it very fast so i'm gonna close all the windows and and to keep it constant on the screen you have to do is put it in while loop and true or if you are in C you can use one and once you add that in you can see that the image stays there even if I move it it just glitches a little bit so that stays there and now if I just scale it up like 100 or so and compile and run it it will shrink cause it has been resized to 100 by 100 now now the original image size is around 200 so if i just do it 1000 by 1000 then it will scale it up and blur it like this and it's glitching a lot so now if you can see there is the white border and if i only want the processor image to appear then i have to change the image so you can use paint.net for it which i have opened then zoom in on your image select all the part which you don't want and turn it into black remember not to turn it into transparent and over here i have selected all the part with the magic select tool and i'm gonna reduce tolerance and uh, press backspace if you are in paint.net which will replace the selected pixels with primary color and now you can see that um, it has been turned to black now copy that selection and save it now we are going to create a new image of same size and paste it on there and we are gonna do shift backspace which will replace the selected pixel with secondary color and then take your selection tool and put it on xor mode and select the image again and then it will invert the selection and then press backspace on it so this is the final result what it should look like if you are using the same image and then make sure you save it in bitmap 
app format and so i'm gonna name it mask dot bmp and press save okay and this will save the image as you can see it appeared now just minimize everything and now you have to create one more dc and that means we are gonna copy this and paste it we just have to change the variable name and then over here i told you i'm gonna use second variable so i'm gonna use it now and then we have to copy this edge bitmap variable now when you copied our edge bitmap variable like that and paste it over there and when you paste it make sure you change the variable name i'm gonna change it to b mask and change the image so our image name was msk mask and now this will load it in and now we are gonna copy the selection method and paste it and uh, change our variable names mask and mask and uh, we also have to change this get object over here this doesn't mind anymore because we are putting it in while loop and if it stays over on your screen you can just update the screen by moving things around so over here we have to give a pair of curly bracket because we now need to copy and paste this twice over here and um, now make sure you have same variable or the same position as the mask has now you are gonna paste mask first which means we are gonna use s r c a and d and um, here m s k and over here if you don't change it will work cause it should be of the same size if it's not it will just glitch out and uh, if you want to delete the objects you can but the control will not be reaching over here so i'm just gonna okay and now i have to change this to p a i n t which means s r c paint and now i compile it and run it you can see it flashes but it is transparent now it's on same position that's why it's flashing and glitching like that it glitches like that if it's on same position and it's been doing that for long so i'm gonna close this gxe and i'm gonna add some sleep time over there then is enough i suppose and it still flashes but it's cool enough i'll just do it one second and compile and run and now you can see that image is over there but it just blinks like that so that is the mask part done now if you want to clear the thing programmatically so i'm just gonna put this uh, comment you can do that with a method called invalidate direct which will invalidate that portion which you have specified and uh, if you are drawing it on top of some static thing which is like notepad whose background is not gonna change so you can just paint on top of it and uh, i will show you how to draw on notepad i'm gonna show you right now so change this gc to find window a and i know notepad class is notepad so type and then type null and if you are thinking how do i know notepad class i know it i just know it i don't know how so now i just have to start notepad i'm gonna type notepad and this is our notepad and we'll compile it and run it and then we will pop out our notepad and now you can see it's a notepad so <laughs> that was it for today's video and hope you guys have enjoyed so make sure you hit that subscribe button and like if you like the video dislike if you don't and if you're interested in watching more of my videos then make sure you click the video that showing up right now on the screen and bye bye